Hey, magandang buhay! So, dito sa video na to, i-discuss ko kung gaano ka-easy ang word problems that involves factoring polynomials. I am pretty sure that after mong mapanood lahat ng examples na nandito sa video na to, madali na lang sa'yo yung word problems that involves factoring polynomials. Okay? So, ready ka na? Okay, that is great. So, let us have the first example. The area of the square is equivalent to 4 times its perimeter. Find the length of the side of the square. So, the area of the square, so that is S squared, equal daw yan doon sa 4 times ng perimeter. Eh, di ba yung perimeter ng square is 4S? So, again, yung sinasabi dito, dito sa first sentence, yung area ng square, which is S squared, is equal sa 4 times ng 4s. So, that would be s squared is equal to 4 times 4s. Ito, itong 4 times 4s, this will become 16s. Ngayon, kapag ka nag-solve tayo ng problems that involves factoring polynomials, so, dapat, ang gawin natin dito is dun sa isang side, 0 lang, tapos dun sa isang side, nandun lang sila. So, in my case, yung right side, gusto ko siyang gawing 0. So, in that case, Para ma-achieve ko yon, mag a ako ng negative 16 on both sides. So, we will now have S squared minus 16S is equal to 0. Next, common monomial factor natin dito is S. So, magiging S times S minus 16 is equal to 0. Ngayon, we can now write here S is equal to 0 and S minus 16 is equal to 0. Bakit? Because of the zero product property. Ibig sabihin nun, if a number is equivalent to 0, therefore, yung factors niya, it's either yung isa doon, 0, or silang dalawa, 0. Okay? Okay? So, yung S is equal to 0, wala na tayong isimplify dyan. Dito na lang, isolve na lang natin yung value ng S by adding positive 16 on both sides. So, S will be equal to 16. Since dito sa problem na to, we talk about the measurement of the side of the square, hindi natin kakailanganin si 0. Since, wala namang 0 measurement. So, therefore, yung length ng side ng square natin is 16 units. Next example, if twice the square of a number, twice the square of a number is the same as 20 times that number, what is the number? If twice the square of a number, so since hindi natin alam yung number, uh, denote natin as x. Twice the square. The square ng number, x squared, twice non 2x squared. Equal daw ito sa 20 times ng number. Ano ba yung number? x, 20 times x, so that is 20x. Ngayon, again, gusto ko yung sa right side ko is 0. So, I'm going to add negative 20x on both sides. So, we will have 2x squared minus 20x is equal to 0. Factor out yung 2x. So, we will have 2x times the quantity of x minus 20 is equal to 0. So, 0 product property, we now have 2x is equal to 0 and x minus 20 is equal to 0. So, dito... Siyempre, yung isang factor ay 2. Definitely, yung isang factor, ano yung magiging isang factor para maging 0? That is 0. Siyempre. Yung dito naman, solving for the value of x here, x will be now equal to 20. So, since dito sa number 2, we are just simply asking for the number, we can actually um, accept yung 0 at saka yung 20. So, that will be now our final answer. Next, number 3. A positive number is 2 more than the other number. If their product is 24, what are the numbers? May number tayo, tapos yung isang number is mas mataas ng dalawa. So, hindi natin alam yung number. So, for us to denote that number, x, tapos yung isa, x plus 2. Ang sabi ba dito sa, sa problem na to, kapag pinag-multiply mo yung dalawa, ang sagot ay 24. So, in that case, that will be x times the quantity of x plus 2 is equal to 24. So, i-distribute lang natin yung x doon sa left side. That would be x squared plus 2x and equal to 24. So, again, gusto ko yung right side ko, 0 lang siya. So, I'm going to add negative 24 on both sides. 
So we will now have x squared plus 2x minus 24 is equal to 0. Factoring general trinomial. So this one will be the quantity of x minus 4 times the quantity of x plus 6. That would be equal to 0. So by zero product property, x minus 4 is equal to 0 and x plus 6 is equal to 0. Yung x minus 4 is equal to 0, mag a ko ng positive 4 on both sides para makuha natin yung value ng x which is 4. Same thing naman dun sa right side, yung x plus 6, mag a tayo ng negative 6 on both sides. So we will have x is equal to negative 6. Ang magiging sagot lang yan dito is eto lang. Sir Ben, bakit? A positive number. So, ang tinutukoy lang natin dito sa number 3 is positive number. Negative 6, obvious naman na hindi siya positive number. So, ano ngayon yung dalawang numbers? Kasi sabi dito, what are the numbers? So, that would be 4 and 6. Okay? Next. Fourth example. A rectangle has a length of quantity 2x plus 1 inches and a width of quantity x plus 1 inches. If its area is 6 inches, uh, 6 square inches, determine the length and width of the rectangle. So again, alam naman natin na yung area is, or yung area ng rectangle is length times width. Yung area is 6 inches square, yung length naman is 2x plus 1 inches, and yung width is x plus 1 inches. As you can see, given naman sila. Okay? So, ang gagawin ko niya dito is Imumultiply ko yung dalawang binomial na to Well, method tayo ha So, 6 is equal to First to first, that is 2x squared Outer term, that is 2x Inner term, that is x Tapos, last term will be 1 Simplifying yung nasa right side natin We will have 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 Ngayon Dito naman, since yung nasa left side natin Tatlong terms So, mas madaling bawasan yung nasa left side so, ang gagawin ko naman ngayon dito, yung sa left side ko, gusto ko, siya maging 0. So, to achieve that one, mag a ako ng negative 6 on both sides. So, we will now have 0 is equal to 2x squared plus 3x minus 5. Ngayon, factoring natin. I-factor natin yung 2x squared plus 3x minus 5 by factoring general trinomial. Ang method na gagamitin ko ngayon dito, AC method. So, paano yun? Ganito yan, no? So, ang gagawin ko niyan dito, isusunod ko na yung dalawang factors na kung saan yung first term nila parehong 2x based dito. Okay? Ngayon, since alam ko naman na negative yung dulong sign, ang magiging sign dito magkaiba. Okay? Ngayon, eto next. Next na gagawin ko is yung number dito sa una, yung may kasamang x word at saka yung walang kasamang letter, multiply ko sila. So, that is 10. Ganito dapat ang thinking natin dito ha. Factors ng 10 na kapag ka pinag-minus, ang sagot ay 3. Factors ng 10 na kapag ka pinag-minus, ang sagot ay 3. And definitely, that is 5 and 2 lang naman yon. Ngayon, saan natin ilalagay si 5? Saan natin ilalagay si 2? Kasi magkaiba yung sign eh. Ganito yan. Ano mas mataas na number doon? 5, di ba? Yung mas mataas na number doon, susundan niya yung sign dito sa gitna. Yung sign sa gitna is positive. So, therefore, yung 5, doon siya sa positive. Siyempre, yung other factor, doon siya sa kabila. Notice that, pwede natin isimplify, eto. Yung 2x minus 2. 2x minus 2, pwede natin i-factor out dyan yung 2. So, magiging, ang may iwan na lang sa loob is x minus 1. Therefore, yung factored form ng 2x squared, plus 3x minus 5i, the quantity of 2x plus 5, times the quantity of x minus 1. Okay? So, punta natin dun ulit sa dito. Ayan siya, di ba? So, zero product property. So, 2x plus 5 is equal to 0, and x minus 1 is equal to 0. Hindi ko ni ko continue to. Yung 2x plus 5 is equal to 0. Sir Ben, bakit? Kapag ka, um, sinolob natin yung value ng x dyan, so, add negative 5, tapos divide both sides by 2. Ang makukuha natin is negative 5 halves or negative 2.5. Ngayon, hindi porket nag-negative yung sagot natin dito, hindi porket naging negative yung sagot natin dito is automatic, hindi na siya um, accepted kasi we are talking about measurement. I-substitute muna natin. Tapos, after natin i-substitute, 
kung naging negative siya, then hindi natin siya i-accept. So again, di ba negative 2.5 yung sagot dito? Substitute na lang natin siya dito para mas madali. Negative 2.5 plus 1. Makakakuha ba tayo ng negative? Yes. So since nag-negative yung width, ay eh, wala namang negative measurement. So hindi ko na i-accept ito. Again, no, sa measurement, hindi porket naging negative siya, automatic hindi na siya acceptable. Um, check mo muna. Pag naging negative siya, isubstitute mo muna dun sa measurement. Kapag kayo mga measurement, lahat sila naging positive, accepted pa rin yung nakuha nating value na negative. Pero since dito naman sa example natin, negative yung dito, after natin sinubstitute, negative pa rin siya, so hindi talaga siya accepted. Most likely, ito lang yung magiging accepted, So, the value of x will be equal to 1. So, dito, bakit yung length 3, bakit yung width 2? Substitute lang natin yung x by 1 dito sa measurement ng length saka ng width. So, pag naging 1 yung dito, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. Tapos dito naman, 2 inches. Okay? Number 5 uh, example, what is the measurement of the base of the figure below? So, yung base natin is h plus 4. Yung height, h. Yung area is 16 square centimeters. Ngayon, di ba yung area ng triangle, base times height divided by 2? Yung area, given naman sa figure, 16 yan. And yung base, nakikita naman natin, h plus 4. So, yung b, palitan natin siya ng h plus 4. Next, yung numerator, i-distribute muna natin yung h. So, that would be h squared plus 4H. Next, ang gagawin ko kanyang dito is I'm going to multiply the whole equation by 2. So, we will have 32 is equal to H squared plus 4H. Ngayon, kung may kita nyo dito, gusto kong gawing 0 yung sa right side, kaya nagkaroon tayo ng negative 32 dito. So, nag-add ako ng negative 32 on both sides. Okay? Next, factoring tayo dito. So, this will be Quantity of h plus 8 times the quantity of h minus 4. So that would be equal to 0. So by product, um, zero product property, so h plus 8 is 0 and h minus 4 is 0. So solving for the value of h, negative 8 yan at saka 4. Yung negative 8 ba, i-disregard na natin? Definitely yes. Bakit? Doon pa lang sa height, nag-negative na siya. So ibig sabihin, hindi na acceptable ito. So, ito lang ang kukunin natin. H is equal to 4. So, ano ngayon yung magiging base? Yung base natin ngayon will be 8 uh, centimeters. Bakit? H plus 4. So, that is 4 plus 4. So, that would be 8 centimeters. Okay? Next one. I think this will be the last example. Gina is 4 years older than Joshua. 2 years ago, The product of their ages is thrice the age of Joshua now. How old are they? So it's very, makakatulong sa atin yung table. Si Joshua, si Gina, yung present age nila at saka yung age nila 2 years ago. Doon muna tayo sa first sentence. Gina is 4 years older than Joshua. So sino matanda? Tama ka, si Gina. Alam ba natin yung age ni Joshua? Hindi. So that would be X. Si Gina, sabi, 4 years older than Joshua. So, that would be x plus 4. Yan yung magiging age nila 2 years ago. Kunyari, 16 na ako ngayon. Anong age ko 2 years ago? Di ba? That is 16 minus 2. Kunyari, 30 ako ngayon. So, yung age ko 2 years ago, 30 minus 2. Same thing dito. Yung magiging age ni Joshua 2 years ago, syempre, that is x minus 2. While si Gina naman, x plus 4 minus 2. Okay? Okay? Ngayon, focus na, focus na tayo ngayon doon sa tawag dito. Focus na tayo ngayon doon sa second statement. Two years ago, so gagamitin natin yung age nila two years ago. The product of their ages. So yung product ng kanilang age, yung x minus 2 at saka yung x plus 4 minus 2, pag pinagmultiply natin 'yan, equal daw siya sa thrice ng age ni Joshua ngayon. So, in that case, ano ba yung age ni Joshua ngayon? Eh, di ba? That is x. Thrice nun, that would be 3x. Simplifying this one, this will be x minus 2 times x plus 2 is equal to 3x. Okay? So, ito, sabi yung difference ito, di ba? So, this will be x squared 
minus 4 is equal to 3x. So, yung right side, gusto ko maging 0. So, mag a ko ng positive, uh, mag a ko ng negative 3x on both sides. So, we will have x squared minus 3x minus 4 is equal to 0. Factoring general trinomial, so we will have x and x. So, again, since negative yun dito, magkaiba yung sign, positive and negative yun dyan. So, aning factors ng 4? Na kapag ka pinag-minus, ang sagot ay 3. Eh, di ba? That is 4 and 1 lang. Ano mas mataas na number doon? 4. So, si 4, susundan niya yung sign sa gitna. Ano yung sign sa gitna? Negative. So, yung 4, doon siya sa negative. And then, yung 1, doon siya sa positive. So, ganun mag-factor, ha? Next, zero product property. X plus 1 is equal to 0. And X minus 4 is equal to 0. So, dito... Um, dito niyan, yung value ng x is negative 1 Dito naman, yung, yung value ng x is positive 4 Pero, since alam naman natin na magiging negative 1 yung dito Di na natin kukunin kasi wala namang h na negative, di ba? So, x is equal to 4 So, ito na ba yung final answer? Not yet Ang tinatanong, how old are they right now? So, definitely, si Joshua magiging 4 years old Si Gina naman magiging 8 years old Okay? So, yun na. So, again, familiarity, practice, para talagang malaman mo or para talagang ma maging bihasa ka sa pagsasolve ng word problems that involves factoring polynomials. It is very important din na alam mo talaga paano mag-factoring. Again, maraming types of factoring. No? Yung greatest common monomial factor, yung atawag dito, perfect square trinomial, difference of two squares, sum and difference of two cubes, uh, factor in general trinomial. So again, kailangan master mo yan kasi magagamit yan pagdating ng grade 9, grade 10, saka grade 11. Okay? So sana may natutunan ka sa video na to. And with that, maraming salamat sa pagkikinig. And yes, magandang buhay.